uh, show you about areas where you're going to be working this off season to improve your game in the likely event that, that you're the starter next season? Uh, yeah, I mean, I learned a ton throughout this year. Uh, it was a ton of fun. Got to learn from, from Jimmy, one of the best dudes, I think, in my opinion, that I, I could have possibly learned from, uh, you know, as a person, as a pro, um, how he handles himself. Uh, I mean, me personally, obviously, I know I got a lot to work on, so I'm excited to, to kind of hit the ground running after a couple weeks off. Um, but I'm just thankful for this opportunity, I guess, to, to be able to be a part of this year. Uh, I know it's not exactly answering your question of, of what I feel like I need to work on, but uh, just kind of where my mind's at right now is just, just kind of reflecting a little bit about how, how thankful I am uh, to be able to have been able, to have been able to be a part of a group like this, uh, you know, all the way from, from coaching staff, personnel, uh, athletic training staff, um, and obviously my teammates as well. Trent, what is your plan for the offseason in terms of where you're going to work out, who you're going to work with, uh, what kind of things you're, you're planning to attack? Uh, I haven't exactly figured it out. Um, I haven't, don't have a calendar set. Obviously, I was, you know, planning on two more weeks uh, of football with these guys. So, uh, I'll take a couple weeks and, and kind of think about it and, and put my schedule together and then hopefully hit the ground running uh, when that time does come. What was the biggest eye-opener to you this year? I mean, look, looking back on the season, um, what about the NFL surprised you the most? I don't know if I could put my, my finger on one thing. Uh, just everything was new. You know, I remember coming in, you know, rookie mini camp. Um, mindset is just to, to come in and be able to compete uh, and learn as much as I can. And I think I did that. You know, we had an awesome room this year, uh, awesome locker room. Uh, so for me, I don't know if there's one thing that, that necessarily surprised me, but uh, I got to learn a ton. And, and the leadership that some of these guys in this locker room have is, is the best that I've ever been around. Trey, one thing that's been very obvious over the last 24 hours in the last several weeks is how much this team does love Jimmy Garoppolo. Are you relishing the opportunity to become that type of leader for your team? And what specifically have you learned from him in that way that you'll be able to take into next year? Yeah, I mean, Jimmy's the man. You've heard it from, from everyone. Um, it's No one's lying about it. I mean, he, he's, he's inspired so many guys in this room. Everything he's played through this year, um, everything he's taught me, how he's handled our whole situation. Um, you know, everyone put us against each other and everything like that in the media for, throughout this whole year, the whole OTAs, everything. Uh, but, but he's been nothing to like, but a big brother to me, you know, this whole year. Uh, so whether it's competing with him at practice or, or sitting in the meeting room asking him questions, uh, I mean, he's been, been nothing but great to me. Uh, and I, I've been nothing but just, just thankfulness for him. Um, and everything he's done and how he's handled everything. Um, and, and obviously he's going to be a, one of my best friends for, for my whole entire life. Uh, so super excited, obviously, to, to get to spend a couple of weeks with him now uh, in these next few weeks. Trey, you talked about what you learned in regards to football, but what did you learn about yourself this season after being kind of off in the field and off? Uh, yeah, I mean, just, just learned how to be a pro from a lot of these guys in this locker room, uh, especially, you know, I go back to Jimmy for everything, uh, but it's the truth. He's the guy I spent probably the most time with throughout this whole entire season. Um, and, and just the way he handles himself, you know, on and off the field, uh, I think is, is again, the best I've ever been around. Uh, so for me, uh, I'm just thankful again for, for the opportunity to, to have him uh, be in front of me to learn from. Uh, learned a lot about myself uh, as far as just – what I have to continue to work on. Um, and obviously, like I said, the, the leaders in this locker room um, are, are guys that inspire me every day. Trey, it's uh, pretty cliche to you know, talk about professional athletes being competitive, but you are, are known for your competitive drive. And given that, how hard was it to, um, you know, from mostly sit this season and watch? Uh, I mean, for me, it was about finding my role as soon as I knew knew what it was um it was it was jimmy's spot so for me uh i, I just attacked it the, the way i would uh the way my team needed me to I was attacking my role on scout team uh, and, and doing whatever i can and, and doing whatever i need to, to be ready each week kyle spoke a lot about the value of, of running a scout team especially when you're a young quarterback um can, can you talk about that experience uh, sort of week to week um, you know, emulating a different quarterback and whether there were any weeks this year that stuck out to you that uh, you found truly valuable. 
Yeah, I mean, I learned a lot on scout team, um, being able to, to play as, you know, and emulate different guys and, and play different playing styles that aren't necessarily my own. Uh, I think I gained a lot from it, you know, gained a lot from, from playing guys who typically stay in the pocket and, and then going to guys like, you know, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, you know, those guys who can play off schedule at a really high level. Uh, I think I developed as a player and, and obviously going against our defense, uh, which, which I thought was the best defense in, in the league. Um, going against our defense every single day, obviously, you know, every rep makes me better. We'll do the last one with Jen. Dre, just health-wise, are you 100% healthy or is there anything you need to rehab as you head into the offseason? No, I feel great. Um, 100% healthy. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Over. Uh, I mean, how, how banged up were you? How difficult was it for you to get through this season uh, with all the – the bumps and bruises and, and the injuries that you endured? Uh, like I say, it, it, you know, I say it's football is it, always a challenge, but uh, like I say, I, I fought through it and got through it. So uh, it, it, it was good after that. Elijah, first of all, congratulations on your rookie season. I know that it, you guys didn't get the finish that you wanted. However, for you personally, it was a lot of growth and you were thrown out on the field unexpectedly after the previous running back got injured. What do you think was your biggest growth, whether it be physical or mental? And what are you proud of individually? Uh, uh, thank you, first of all. And uh, uh, like I say, uh, mentally, uh, that that was the biggest thing, mentally wise. But uh, uh, for myself, uh, I, I'm happy with the things I did. But I know I have more, and I know I could have uh, gave more, also. Uh, but like you said, we we came up short. But like I said, it just adds uh, fuel to the fire for next year. Elijah, as a rookie coming into this particular locker room uh, that dealt with a lot of adversity and got through it. What did you learn about perseverance and how you want to develop as a leader in the coming seasons? Uh, like I say, uh, I, I did some good stuff this year, but uh, I definitely uh, want to next year want to be able to, you know, what I'm saying uh, be a leader too. Even though it'd be my second year, but uh, like I, I, I know uh, what this team has and what we could be. And like I say, we we lost and it, it was just horrible for us, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I definitely want to be a leader next year and be able to step up and uh, give more. Elijah, <clears throat> excuse me, I know there are only you know, kind of limits to what you can do as an NFL running back who gets, you know, 27 carries or 25 or 23 carries a game. Um, but that being said, I mean, is there anything like this season has, has taught you um, about how you could you know, train or prepare for that type of workload and punishment if it's like that again in season two? Uh, yeah, definitely. I learned a lot. Uh, like I said, uh, got to build my body up more. Uh, like you said, I get the ball uh, a lot. So uh, that's one thing I have to do. And uh, this off season, you know what I'm saying? I got to work as a work like a receiver too. Cause I know we do a lot of stuff catching the ball and stuff. So uh, that's one of my plans to do this off season. Elijah, it was a long season. What did you learn about yourself through playing 20 games? And what was the most surprising thing about the NFL for you? Uh, playing 20 games, I know, uh, knowing now, you got to really take care of yourself because it's a long season, you know what I'm saying? And that's not something that we're used to being your first year. And uh, what was the second question again? What did you learn about yourself? Oh, uh, what I learned about myself, uh, it don't matter what I go through, uh, injury-wise, whatever. Uh, I can always fight through it. Uh, and really, uh, just every time I get out there, just give it all I got. You just mentioned this, but um, where are you as a, as a receiver? And, and specifically, what, what are you going to work on receiving-wise uh, this offseason? Uh, like I said, I can catch the ball. Uh, so you got to work on running routes and stuff and uh, being able to just be out there more. Thank you, Elijah. Thank you.